What's going on guys, my name is Sebastian. This is Resell Junkie. Behind the camera is my lovely wife. And this is the channel where we teach others how to make money from home. We resell used clothing for a full-time living on eBay and our journey has led us into teaching now. If you wanna take our free course, resellerjunkie.com. If you wanna follow us on Instagram, resellerjunkie underscore. And if you're interested in making money and hustling and all that good stuff, make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps our small channel grow. All that aside, let's get into this. It's a cool little thrift haul. We're just gonna talk about everything and show you what we think we're gonna make and what we paid. I guess, so this pile of clothing behind me is uh, just the stuff we got today, but the stuff up here in front is what we're gonna talk about first. So first is these lacrosse Iceman boots. These are just basic, like really heavy duty snow boots. I shouldn't say basic. These are like extremely heavy duty made in America. Uh, nice boots. We're going to get 60 bucks for these. Okay. Now we did pay up. They were $22.99. Um, we haven't broken the prices down of any of this. This is kind of like a really quick sporadic thrift haul because if you follow our Instagram earlier, you probably saw that there was a $20 off coupon at a local thrift store. If you spent 50 bucks, you got 20 bucks off. So that's why I went thrifting today. Um, and that's why I was okay paying up a little bit more for some of these items. But yeah, we'll get around 60 bucks for those. And now those, they have to be in good condition. Just pass on them if they're crappy. Hi, you wanna hang out? You can come over here and hang out with me. We'll see. I'm gonna, get him some munchies. I'm gonna hold this real quick. So next thing is this uh, champion juicer. This is like this like really heavy duty, hardcore juicing machine, okay? Um, I don't really know much about it, but it looks like it has some extra attachments. My preliminary like little look on uh, on eBay, I think we're gonna get about 150 bucks for this thing, which is pretty freaking sweet if I must say. Um, now, when it comes to these things, they're heavy, they suck to ship, so just make sure it's worth your time. This thing we did pay 25 bucks for, but again, I think we could turn it into about $150. At the end of the day, after shipping, I think we'll make about 100 bucks on this thing, so it's definitely worth our time. Moving on here to the right, Breville. If you don't know this brand, if you ever see Breville on anything kitchen related, get it, it's most likely gonna be worth money. We only paid 11 bucks for this little toaster oven. They have several models of these. If this had like the big digital screen right here that had like the blue, big, beautiful thing, it'd be worth substantially much more money. Um, used locally, we'll get around 40 to 50 bucks for this. If we put it on eBay, we'd get like 80 to 90 bucks, but I honestly don't wanna ship this. So it'll be a quick local sale. Moving on to clothing. Uh, it was a cool, cool little haul today. This thrift store, we have not done, okay, let's talk about this real quick, come up here. This thrift store, guys, we talked about this yesterday in the video. Consistency, consistency, consistency. You have to keep going back, even if one experience is crappy. This thrift store, when we first moved here, was amazing. Like, we made a bunch of money off it, and then it just died. Like, after Corona, like, it just really tanked. For whatever reason, their inventory sucked, their prices were garbage. Today, I went there and I bought all of this stuff and it was amazing. So just keep going back. You never know, guys. Okay, back into this. This is a basic Columbia rain shell. Nothing crazy. I'm not even going to talk about it too much, but it was in good condition. Um, I'm not even going to tell you what all this stuff costs. Let's just say it's an average of seven or eight bucks a piece um, because I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be. Uh, yeah, for this basic jacket, we'll get around 25 to 28 bucks for it. Vintage Wrangler little Christmas ugly sweater thing. Um, not sure how vintage it is, but it definitely looks like it's probably from the late 90s or so, maybe early 2000s. Um, I think we'll get around 30 bucks for this sweater. US Ski Team by the brand Spider. Guys, if you find Spider uh, jackets that say US Ski Team, especially if they're like down puffer jackets, they can be worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars, okay? Like seriously, US Ski Team and Spider or Columbia, any like big ski collab like that, it could be worth a lot of money. It's kind of like the whole like Masters Polo thing that used to be worth money, which that stuff's not really worth as much anymore. But it's kind of the same thing in the skiing world. So really be on the lookout for that. This beanie, I think we'll get uh, 25 to 30 bucks for because it's in great shape. This is really interesting. Never found just a hood to a Carhartt jacket, but <laughs> I did and turns out these go for actually like good money. We're gonna get 30 bucks for this damn thing. It's crazy. Like this is a legitimate thing. It's union made. Like it's a, it's a nice piece. Sorry, there you go. It's a nice piece. It's union made in America. I think, wait, I wanna make sure I'm right about that. It's made in America. Yeah, 30 bucks for this thing. So that's pretty cool. Eddie Bauer puffer jacket. It's in great shape. 
Guys with down jackets, just make sure they're in good shape. Eddie Bauer, it's a good brand, but I wouldn't pay too much for this. It was listed for like $10 at the store or something like that. And again, really good shape, nice down, and it has the hood. Guys, when the hood is removable, be very, very careful, okay? Like, do not pay up for a jacket that has a removable hood that is missing, okay? That is a pain in the butt. Just avoid it unless you're gonna make a bunch of money on it. One tip there though, some people take the hoods off and they hide it in the jacket, so don't give up if you don't see it right away. Just poke around in the jacket for a second. Now, that's not to say, if you find an expensive jacket and it doesn't have a hood on it, buy it. Like, it doesn't matter, but if it's a cheap jacket with no hood, just pass. Okay, sorry. Let me go back to that. If it's a cheap jacket that has a removable hood, but it's missing that hood, pass on it. Okay. So I want to make that clear. Brand we talk about often, Marmot. It's a hiking brand. Uh, these, just a basic layering thermal quarter zip. Nothing special, but we'll get 25 bucks for it. Make sure they're in great shape. Don't get ones that are pilling and just crappy. Another brand, guys, we preach this brand often. If you're not buying this and you're not finding this brand, then I don't know what you're doing, but cool. They'll have the model name on the inside there. It'll tell you some stuff about the pants. Not all of them have that, but a lot of them do, especially the newer ones. These pants all day will get 30 to 35 bucks for. These probably on the higher end because they look brand new. USA Hockey Team Nike Jersey, guys. These are cool. Um, it's important as to who actually makes it. If this was just like a... Uh, like Coliseum Athletics or like something like that, I would have passed on this. But since it's Nike, since it's USA Hockey, it definitely is a nice little jersey. I haven't looked this up, but I'm assuming we're going to get around 40 to 50 bucks for this. Now, these were interesting. I, again, I probably should have looked these up again before the video. But these are just Carhartt leggings, you may think. But they're the Force series. So my preliminary like little eBay search, these were going for like $45. It was insane. I couldn't believe it. Um, they just, they feel really nice, like really nice heavy duty long johns. So I'm assuming that's why. And by the way, these are in perfect condition again. They look brand new. Flame resistant. We talked about it the other day with the Ariat jeans. Uh, these are Wrangler flame resistant. Look for the FR, sorry, the FR right there. It'll usually have a HRC rating somewhere on the pant as well, but that doesn't matter as much. Make sure they're in good shape. Check the crotches, check the hems, and if they have holes in them, I'd probably avoid them because, again, this is a flame-resistant item. You're assuming this person works with fire, so you don't want holes in the garment. Okay. Same thing. It looks probably like the same person donated these things because they're both by Wrangler. They're both flame-resistant. This is a pearl snap, which is going to bring even more money. I think we're we'll getting 25 bucks for this. Uh, we'll get. We would have got more, but it's a little bit dinged up. Um, yeah, 25 bucks for that. Brand Grimici, we've talked about it before. Typically we find pants by them. This is the first time I found a short sleeve shirt. It's a little outdoors brand, nothing crazy, but we'll get $23 for this short sleeve shirt. If, again, you follow us on Instagram, you saw this on the stories already. This is a vintage Nautica competition made in Canada long sleeve. It's not single stitch, but it looks like it's early 2000s and it's a cool shirt, so I picked it up. Basic layering piece, guys. It's winter. People are buying these all the time to work out. These little mock neck uh, workout the other shirt things. It's an Under Armour one. Again, condition is key. Don't get these when they're beat up. We get 18 to $23 for these all day. Another spider beanie. Probably, again, the same kind of person I donated. This is a vintage one. This is definitely an older one made in Hong Kong. It's wool. It's a nice little beanie. I think we'll get 30 bucks for this as well. Pair of Sierra Designs Gore-Tex ski pants, snow pants. Here's got the old Gore-Tex tag. This is the old guy. That is, man. These are early 90s, I'd say, maybe mid 90s. But yeah, they're in great shape. Um, I haven't looked these up, but I think we'll get 35 bucks to 40 bucks for these. Um, another outdoors brand that a lot of people don't know about unless you live in ski towns, Heli Hansen. Really great brand. Their stores will pop up in like the most expensive cities in the country, like Park City and things like that. So some of their stuff goes for a lot of money, guys. Be on the lookout for that. We'll probably get 20, 23 bucks for that shirt. And then lastly, from today, this North Face uh, short sleeve button shirt. Nothing special, just really clean overall. Um, yeah, nice little shirt. We'll get 23, $25 again for this. So that is what we found today. Again, consistency guys i've been going to this thrift store once twice a week and finding nothing it's been garbage and like literally i've made no money there in the past month or two today we've made a bunch of money 
it's just, you gotta keep going, you gotta keep trying, like go multiple times a day, like that doesn't make you weird. There's literally thrift stores I've walked into three to four times a day, guys. Like, don't be weird, this is what you're trying to do. If you're trying to go full time at this, the only way to make a real, real income and like really go from that kind of like 500 bucks a month on Poshmark to 10 grand a month in sales is to be consistent, is to have a routine and it's to have a process. If you wanna learn more guys, please, please, please subscribe, like this video, share it, all that good stuff. If you wanna follow our blog or take a free beginner's course, again, resellajunkie.com. Behind the scenes nonsense, resellajunkie underscore on Instagram. And again, I'm Sebastian. This is my wife, Cheyenne. Good night, cheers.